Welcome to Facts TV News, where everything is true. Female business operator in Port Morgan missing. 20-year-old Jada Simit, a business operator of Miller Road, Passage Fort, Waterford, St. Catherine, has been missing since Thursday, August 5th. She is of dark complexion, slim built, and about 162 centimeters tall. Reports from the Waterford Police are that about 5.45 p.m., Simit was last seen at home wearing purple blouse, light blue ripped jeans, and a pair of multicolored sneakers. She has not been heard from since then. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Simit is being asked to contact the Waterford Police at 876-988-1763, the Police 119 emergency number or the nearest police station. Child among five shot on 5th Street. Five people were reported the shot on 5th Street in Trenchtown about 6.30 p.m. yesterday. It's understood that a child and a female were among those who were shot. Information reaching reporters are that one of the injured people, a female, was shot in the face. Reports are that a white car drove onto 5th Street and shortly after, a barrage of loud explosions were heard in the area. It was later discovered that five people were shot and they were taken to hospital by police personnel. Their medical conditions are not known at this time. St. Mary woman shot dead in Rome with 11-year-old daughter. An 11-year-old St. Mary girl has been left traumatized after the shooting murder of her mother at their home in Tanklin, Rockabessa, St. Mary, Thursday night. 47-year-old Vera Bailey, a supervisor at Bashko Trading Company, Ochoa, St. Anne, was killed by gunmen around 9 p.m. It is reported that two men entered the community and asked for directions to her home. After getting information, the men went to the house where Bailey and her daughter were alone. The men reported they kicked the door open and ordered the daughter to put her head on the bed, after which they shot Bailey in her head. The men then escaped on foot, taking the daughter's cell phone with them. Residents who heard the explosions went to the house, where they saw the daughter hugging her wounded mother and crying uncontrollably. On Friday, the police reported that Bailey, who was rushed to the hospital, died while being prepared to be transferred to the Kingston Public Hospital. The unmasked and COVID tests on show outside Dream Weekend venue. Spooked by some revelers' failure to follow COVID-19 protocols ahead of entering the venue, a number of people who showed up on Thursday for the annual Dream Weekend in Negril opted not to go inside. Paul Henry traveled from St. Catherine for his first ever experience of the popular show. He reported that he and his friend Marvin Richards opted not to go inside because of what they saw on the outside of the venue when they showed up. Mekanda scared for going because enough people now wear no mask and this thing a COVID-19, you have to take it serious, said Henry. Others who asked not to be quoted had similar concerns. Superintendent Winchester Watson from the Traffic Enforcement Division within the Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch confirmed that there were lapses in mask wearing. You still have some persons moving around not wearing their protective mask and we would have spoken to them about that. We try to educate them on the importance of wearing their mask, he said. He and his team had traveled from Kingston to support the Westmoreland Police with ensuring there was a smooth flow of traffic and general order was maintained. There was a strong police presence at the Waves Beach and event venue, as well as the ticket sales office of the Cool Runnings Adventure Park. Early in the day, a town crier announced the availability of COVID-19 tests under a tent on the outside of the venue. The fee was $4,000 and results would be sent to your phone or email right away, said the huckler. It is unclear how many, if any, of the patrons inside took up the offer. The size of the crowd was also unclear as the usual media passes to cover the event were not forthcoming this year. Gajay Reed, who has been vending at Dreams Weekend for many years, said sales were slow this year. Now sell nothing fast, it's slow, he said, from his spot outside the venue. Meanwhile, Henry, who opted not to go inside, was surprised that there were not more people milling around outside. Made it come to go see the crowd. Maybe if made it see the excitement, more go in already. But a one and two people may see a go in there. It no really push me to go inside there, he said. Superintendent Watson theorized that what patrons describe as a poor turnout may have been partially caused by the 8 p.m. curfew, restrictions placed on the event, and the limitation of the number of persons who may enter the venue. 
it is understood that approximately 20,000 persons are allowed inside, while the closing time for the event, which runs from August 5 to 9, is 7 p.m. Jamaica records 326 new COVID-19 cases. Jamaica recorded 326 new COVID-19 cases and three virus-related deaths Thursday, according to the latest statistics from the Ministry of Health and Wellness. This pushed the total number of confirmed cases on the island since the outbreak to 54,165 and confirmed deaths to 1,214. The new cases comprise 177 females and 149 males with ages ranging from 78 days to 99 years. According to the Ministry, 67 of the cases were recorded in Kingston and St. Andrew, 55 in Manchester, 51 in St. Catherine, 35 in St. James, 17 each in St. Thomas and Westmoreland, 13 each in Clarendon and Trelawney, 12 in Hanover, 9 in St. Elizabeth and 6 in St. Mary. Meanwhile, an 88-year-old male from Clarendon, a 78-year-old male from Westmoreland, and a 52-year-old male from St. Elizabeth were the latest deaths reported. Two more deaths were reported under investigation. The ministry further reported 25 new recoveries, which pushed total recoveries to 47,152. There are 5,434 active cases on the island. Immigration officer charged with shooting with intent. The St. Anne's Bay police arrested and charged an immigration officer with shooting with intent, illegal possession of firearm and ammunition, following an incident in St. Anne on Monday, August 2. Charge is 28-year-old Stevan Barnes of Etam District's Ocherias in St. Anne and Fletcher's Court, Hollywood, Florida, USA. The police said that about 4 p.m., the complainant was driving his motor car and upon reaching a section of the roadway, he saw Barnes on his premises. Barnes then reported the open gunfire at the complainant. The complainant managed to escape and a report was made to the police. Lawmen carried out an operation and Barnes was arrested and charged after he was positively identified. Two shot dead in Arnett Gardens. Two men were shot and killed in separate incidents in Arnett Gardens, St. Andrew, Wednesday afternoon. Reports are that, shortly after 5 p.m., armed men opened fire, killing a man in the Mexico section of the community. Hours later, in an adjoining community of Angola, another man was gunned down in what police suspected was a reprisal shooting. The Kingston Western Police are investigating the incident. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.